Hey guys, this is Maths Athlete. Uh, welcome to the first lesson on core mathematics. Uh, for the first lesson, we'll have certs because it's the easiest topic, and then <coughs> as the videos proceed, we'll go into the harder topics. Okay. So, what is a cert? To distinguish what a cert is, let's uh, discuss what something called rational numbers. Is. Okay, so rational numbers uh, qualify for two things. The first thing is that it's a decimal. Now, of course, any number can be written in a decimal, but also written in a decimal and written in the form A over B, where A and B are integers okay so that's what qualifies for rational numbers uh, let's give a few examples so I thought I'd use a different color um, <coughs> so say the reoccurring decimal such as 0 0.3 reoccurring which can be written as a third uh, sorry let me just add, yeah um, 0 0.5 can be written as a half uh, 0 0.6 reoccurring can be written as 2 over 3 and uh, final example we'll use a root so root 4 equals root 2 which is the same as 2 over 1 which is <coughs> a over b so uh, now let's move to rational numbers and from here we'll uh, work out exactly what a side is okay so rational num irrational sorry E sorry mistake irrational numbers. So what is an irrational number? It is the complete opposite of a rational number. So <coughs> it's it can be a decimal. So a decimal but it cannot be written as a over b where a is an integer and b is an integer and uh, <coughs> just to, just a reminder integer is just means whole number this is the whole idea of advancing from GCSE uh, we don't use the word whole number anymore we use the word integer okay so now we can actually work out what a third is if we give a few examples of what a ra irrational number is so uh, a very common example is pi uh, which is 3.14 and so on uh, you cannot write this in the form a over b where a and B are integers so pi therefore is irrational and so now this way you come into thirds you cannot write root 2 in the form A over B so you cannot let's say that does not equal where A and B <coughs> are integers okay and another one is root 3 now root 4 can be written as 2 so it's not a third and it's not irrational so let's now exactly define the term third so the definition of a third is an exp expressions which involve root signs which are equal to irrational numbers such as root 2 and um, the cube root of 6 are called thirds and it doesn't have to be only uh, root 2 and uh, the cube root of 6 those were just examples but as long as they equal to irrational numbers and have and involve root signs they are classified as thirds let's include a f let's go through a few examples so decide whether the following um, is irrational or rational uh, sorry, rational or irrational. Um, 
pause the video. Uh, you can do them in your head or you can write it down on paper and uh, press play and we'll go through the answers. Okay, so um, <coughs> I'm going to use a red pen so I feel like a teacher. Um, so the first one is uh, simply irrational. Uh, we went over this in the first example. Uh, the second one is rational because the root of 4 is 2. Uh, the square root of 64 is 8, so it's rational. Uh, the square root of 39 is something like 6.2 but as long as you know that it's not a perfect square um, or it doesn't have a or it doesn't have a square root which is a uh, which is a uh, decimal a ending decimal uh, then it's irrational so this is irrational uh, pi as we mentioned is irrational uh, the cube root of 8 is just 2 times 2 times 2 so that's rational Sorry. Um, okay, that looks wrong. Let's change that. Um, yes. Okay, so that is rational. Um, this is the square root of 16 is 4. The square root of 18 is 9, so it's rational. So that's rational, rational. And this is finally irrational. If you got all of them right, it means you can proceed to the next step. Um, <coughs> the next episode we'll be talking about uh, simplifying, manipulating thirds, uh, and stuff like conjugating and everything. So if you find these videos useful, subscribe, um, tune in for the next videos, and thanks for watching.